Hockey is officially back. The Premier Sports Elite League is underway with pre-season action. And Martin cuts that out and he'll chip that down to the line. Root will get there first and he's there with support from Rain. Howery gets his first touch and sends the puck forward very quickly. Looking at uh, the Giants starting six there. Yes, they lost uh, JJ Pikinich over the summer, who was one of the best players in the league. Oh, so we've got a breakaway here. Chance coming in for the Devils. What a save early on by Jones. Neither team been able to breach the other. The Giants have probably had the best chances, or they have had the best chances. Spilled out in front, and it's a goal. There is one on the board. This time the Giants do put it in the net. And it's Colby McCauley that opens the 22-23 account for the Giants. Yeah, really, really good job there by the Giants. Uh, that line has just been pressuring those Devils all day and, and create the turnover in behind the goal. I can't quite tell who it was. It might have been Jardine. But yeah, get the, the puck out in front of McCauley. Just tucks it past bounds. Just hard work resulting in and, and rewarding the, the Giants there. They have deserved a goal out of this period. There's going to be a battle, I think, between him and Ben Davis for that third line, fourth line slot. So, competition for places, never a bad thing as Reese Kelly gets his first introduction in a Devils jersey and uh, makes sure that he uh, makes his mark. Giants are getting the Crandall a little bit quicker on this penalty kill than maybe they were in the last one. They recognize how much he's bad as Martin! Oh, how I Serena Wales has missed this man! It's old square I Serena Wales, it's number 88! The go, Joey Martin! I mean it had to be, didn't it? Who else was it gonna be in his first game home in Cardiff? Joey Martin tucks it away on the power play. The Devils did a really good job of creating the opportunity for him. Oh, the Devils there, they, they... Long. On the return, and it's there! Bounds had read the play. But it didn't quite go to where he thought it would. And with just over 10 minutes left in the third period, Belfast take the lead. Yeah, that goal comes straight from the fact that the Devils went for a line change after getting the puck out of the zone, but the man they left in there was the one without a stick. Josh Batch was left all on his own, without his stick, unable to defend, and the Giants then capitalised on that. About to go six on five, the Devils. Crawford gets caught at the blue line, and Cooper is going to put the exclamation point on this game and put the third goal in for the Giants. And the final buzzer goes for this first exhibition game. Lots of positives for both teams to take out of this one. But the main positive of a win will go to the Belfast Giants tonight, who win this game by three goals to one.